Hey, welcome back, and this is the first video in the series that I'm starting on LLM API hacking. So first we will have basic introduction of LLM and how they work, and then I'm gonna cover all the LLM vulnerabilities in each video about labs, so let's get into it. LLM starts for large language model, and it is a powerful AI model that can read and understand human-like text. For example, you give a query and it give you a response according to what your query is. You must have used ChatGPT and you know how it works. Imagine you are building a customer service chatbot for an online store. Now, instead of programming the chatbot to handle every possible question manually, you can use LLM API. This API can understand customer inquiries and generate appropriate responses according to that, making it more reliable and it makes your work easier as well. Now this is how the request of the LLM API would look like in the packet when a person writes some kind of query in the chat box. As you can see, the endpoint here is this part and it is used for generating text. The HTTP method is post here because you are sending data. The headers are content type and authorization. Now, the content type is application JSON because you're sending the data in JSON format or you're going to receive the data in JSON format. Now the authorization header will contain the API key that you're using for authentication to access LLM API. Now the model part consists of the name of the model that you are using in this case is GPT-4 and then the prompt which will contain the actual query of the customer. Here max tokens is 100 and it limits the length of the generated response to 100 tokens. Now when the API receives this request, it processes the prompt using the specified language model and returns a response that explains the query. So basically four steps happening here. First is you send a request and it contains a text prompt to the API. This could be a question, a command or a text that you want the AI to respond to. Second step is the API processes the request. The API sends your text to a large language model like GPT-4. This model has been trained on vast amounts of text and it understand and generate the response according to that. Now the third step is the model generate a response. So the AI model processes your text, generate response. And then fourth step is you receive the response. The API sends the generated text back to you. Now this must be making more sense and now you understand how LLM APIs work. Now let's talk about what are the possible vulnerabilities that can occur in an LLM API. So it again depends on how it is configured. Most of the time developers mistake. Anyways, so let's look at the first one is injection attacks. Attackers can manipulate the input text to make the model generate harmful or unintended responses. For example, if the input includes malicious code or commands, the AI might process and return these causing security issues. You might have heard about it. It's also called prompt injection attack. It is a type of attack where you can include some malicious inputs into the prompt and the AI will execute it unintentionally which could lead to unauthorized data access or execution of arbitrary commands. We will look at this in the next videos. Right now, let's move to the second vulnerability which is data privacy issues. How this can happen? This can happen in scenarios if the sensitive information can be exposed if the AI retains data from the previous instructions. For example, if a user shares personal details and the model includes this data and the responses to other users if they ask for it. Now, the third issue could be authentication issue for example if the api key is not properly secure attackers could use them to access the api and exploit its functionality so basically it allows unauthorized users to access the api the next issue is rate limiting and denial of service the lack of rate limiting can lead to abuse where attackers send too many requests causing the service to slow down or crash so an attacker can flood the API with request overwhelming the system. Okay, so that's all. This video is short because this was just an introduction, but we will look more in detail about each vulnerability in the next videos. So keep watching and I will see you in the next one.